Okay, today we'll be opening up this CarQuest oil filter, number 84356, and this RAM oil filter, number PH7317. You can get this CarQuest oil filter at Advanced Auto Parts for $11.29, and you can get this RAM oil filter at Walmart for $3.88. And these two filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. When the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. It's just a network. You gotta do the silicone, the nice pipe, get your inner ear, filtration, and your inner ear. Okay, let's start with the CarQuest oil filter. Right here on the box it says Made in USA. Turn this over and we'll see here. It has silicone and drain bag valve. 99% efficiency, cellulose synthetic blend media. And if we look here for particles, 30 microns or greater. Okay, let's open her up and see what she looks like. Date code F01P15E1. This is a sticker. Also, right here it says Made in USA. She has eight inlet holes, metal core with louvers, bypass valve down below. Looks to be a silicone and drain back valve. And, and about four grooves there, so it looks okay. The threads. And this looks to be a nitro rubber gasket. Which is on there pretty good. It's also pretty thick. So that all looks good. Okay, let's check out the frame filter. We'll look at the box. We'll look over here, we'll see protection up to 10,000 miles. And both filters are rated for 10,000 miles. It also says silicone and drain back valve. And right here somewhere it says the micron rating. It's 95% if you look on their website for particles greater than 20 microns. And I got this filter from a viewer named Ryan from Canada. He sent me this filter because, you know, it says on here silicone and drain back valve. I had this filter in a previous video about a month and a half ago. It's got a nitro rubber and drain back valve. We're going to do a burn test on this to make sure. But it has 10 inlet holes, metal core with holes, bypass valve down below. And it's got about Four grooves there, four or five, looks, looks pretty good. And a nitro rubber gasket, which comes off pretty easy. Oh yeah, let's check out the date code also on this. And this is, this is printed. It has a date code of A20242. And this one also is made in USA. You can see base plates are totally different. Yeah. These are definitely two different style filters. So I say we open them up. See what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, let's get their weights. The frame weighs 174 grams. The CarQuest weighs... 207.2 grams. Base plates, the Fram weighs 81.5 grams. And the CarQuest weighs 93.6 grams. Let's take a look at these up close. You can see they got pretty much the same amount of threads. But the frame's got more inlet holes, bigger inlet holes. I like the frame's base plate better. But they're they're both they're both okay. And we got nitro rubber any drain back valve. At least that's what it looks. We'll test it later. Covers up them holes. And the car quest got a silicone any drain back valve. 
covers up the holes nicely. Now the filter elements. Fram weighs 34.2 grams. And the, the CarQuest weighs 60.3 grams. Let's look at the CarQuest. We got a metal crimp seam. And I counted 53 pleats. A little sloppy with the glue here. But they're they're pretty evenly spaced. It's a little bit of a gap here. Yeah, you can see the excess glue. Bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 14 to 18 PSI. And like I said earlier, this was a synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 99% particles at 30 microns. Okay, and the Fram. Fram's got a metal crimp seam. Big gap here. And not as many pleats. I counted 44 pleats on the Fram. We got these... I don't know, they're, they're cardboard, they call them synthetic end caps. I call them cardboard end caps, but I know they're not cardboard, but this this is a fiber and resin filter media with a micron rating of 95%. Particles greater than 20 microns. This one has less pleats, but they're deeper pleats. Okay, and let's look at the cans. Okay, the can, 45 grams of the Fram. Forty two point one grams for the CarQuest. CarQuest has a leaf spring, stamp leaf spring, which weighs four point six grams. And the Fram has this bypass valve stamp leaf spring, which weighs nine point three grams. And this has a setting of nine to fifteen psi. Let's measure these cans. I was getting about 0.41. Yeah, 0.41 millimeters. And I was getting 0 0.40 for the car quest. So 0 0.39. 0 0.38 millimeters. Okay, a little thinner. Not much though. 0.4 to 0.5 is actually about average, but yeah, they both look okay. And let's measure these guys. Okay, the Fram is 2.33 inches wide. And the Purelator is 2.31 inches wide. Let's call that point 2.32 inches wide. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see which one's longer because, uh, like I said, this purulator on my left has the pleats ain't as deep, but there's more of them. So it's going to be close. And they're almost the same width. Okay. So I'll cut these guys open, stretch them out, and be right back. Okay, and here they are stretched out. And the frame is 44 inches long. And the car quest is 43 and a half inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on these filters. The CarQuest is 0.91 millimeters thick. And the Fram is 0.88 millimeters thick. Look at them up close.
Let's take a look at them under a microscope. Yeah, so they look they look pretty similar, except for the color. And the car quest fell apart when I was cutting it open, so that's why I got the crimp seam there. The frame stayed together. And let's look at the rest of the filter. So we'll test this one out in a little while and see uh, see if it's silicone or nitro rubber. And I give the base plate, I think, to the Fram. Bypass valve, uh, well, it's a matter of preference. Actually, I want to show this bypass valve because I had a viewer tell me that they don't open up. They, they hardly do open up. They open up, though. If you press on them, if you can see that. They do open up, but not not very much. They're pretty hard too. They're hard to hard to press open. See that? But uh you got lures, holes, and you know I'm not a fan of these guys, those end caps. Cans, they're pretty tight. The sure grip here is nice to have though. Yeah, so which filter would you guys use? Well, let's test out these anti drain back valves. So, put them on these little plates here. Put this down here. And we'll light them up. Now, this one we know is silicone. Should have a white smoke. It's hard to light up. Kind of a dark smoke, but it doesn't, uh, and you know, it should have white ashes too. But let me take a little smell of this. It doesn't smell bad. Yeah, so I'll put it out. And you can see it's got like a white ash there. Okay, this one here. Now, if this is nitro rubber, it's going to probably start dripping and uh, black smoke and it stinks. Yep, there's the black smoke. Yep, and it doesn't want to go out too easy. Yep, that's definitely uh, nitro rubber. Phew, that stinks. Well, with that being said and that being tested, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Fram Filter Media weighs 15.8 grams. The CarQuest Filter Media weighs 13.3 grams.